Hello, my Disney fans. Pinky Band 1909 here. And today, we are back to doing Let's Play Back to the Future, the game. But we're in episode 3. And it's, and it's called Citizen Brown. And of course, it would be a, a good Let's Play without one of my friends, Oliver Featherwing. Hello. Yes, wow. we um last time we messed up the timeline completely now. Yeah we did. And the only way to fix it is to go through this game without doing without fixing up any timeline and on up to the next game, from what I've heard. Yeah. I just hope it's not true. Anyway, shall we? Yes. Let's make. Let's fix this mistake. Well, I'm actually scared to. I'm actually, I'm actually scared to see what it will look like. Now. Well, we got to fix. Well, you got no choice, Nicky. You got. We got to fix it. I know we have to. Let's just go. Let's just go. Here we are again. Telltale's games. Big fan of my of those games I am. Thursday. Oh, yeah, it's Tuesday, May 15th. You mean Thursday? Wait a minute. Is that? Wait a minute. Is that who I think it is? What's that, Jennifer? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's oh. the. Oh. Well, oh, she's dear. got her headphones up this loud. Back to the future, the game, episode three, Citizen Brown. Citizen Brown. I've got a bad feeling about this. You're telling me, Oliver. We were the ones who honest, messed this up completely. Marty's unconscious. Of the impact, yeah. Really, she didn't hear what just happened because she had her purpose up. Southgate. So high. Southgate. What? What? Duck. Relax. We've got everything under control. Duck. Uh. Yeah. Look at the name! <laughs> 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 it's Jen! They just had to, had to do that. It's. Come on, Telltale, Telltale Games. It's Jennifer! <laughs> what did it say? The liquid rocker chick. <laughs> oh, for no. God's sake! <laughs> Click on her. Well, we had to get her attention, so yeah. This is the dumbest design ever. Uh, hello? No, nope, nothing. Me. She can't hear. What can we do? Don't worry, everybody. I'm okay. The billboard broke my fall. Did he just break the fourth wall? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are you following Pinkie Pie, Marty? Well, to be fair, um... these, these games were made, like, months before the MLP came came out, did it? Mm, I don't know. Can we just check the... Was can it? we just check the... I don't know. It doesn't can matter. Just... It doesn't matter. Let's just... Can we just, yeah. check... Let's just, can we just check... Can we just check along with the DeLorean? There's, there's a time circuit, right. Oh. Try clicking X stick. Then click, click the DeLorean again. Brown. That's dark, all right, but what the heck's going on here? Well, I don't know. Got to get out of this death trap. Probably use the hall, maybe. Try the door yeah. first. Try the door. I don't get her attention. What the hell? Hey, could you give me a? 
Jennifer? It is! It is her! Oh dear. Her photo's fade. She just faded in the photo. Oh dear, something's gone really bad. Something must have gone wrong. You're telling me? We might have now we can talk. We might have, I think we might have... Trying to change Marty and Jennifer's timeline. Well, I think we have to go back to the eight, uh, back to the thirties. I think. To sort uh, it out. But first, we but first we need to Jennifer, get down. I need some help, Martin. It is you, Martin. Is that Delorean. That's Buddy's real name. Uh, well, yeah, it's a Delorean. What else would it be? How the hell did it get into the billboard like that? Uh, never mind that. Just give me if... a hand, okay? Oh. Not like that! So who are you supposed to be? Luke or Bo? This isn't funny, Jennifer. What? Um... So... Help me down. Can you help me down? Why don't you just jump? I'll break my neck. <laughs> and... And probably any... the rest of our bones. As well. Yes. What about... Do you have anything useful? Yeah. You got any rope you can toss me? Uh-uh. All I have is this rusty wrench thing I found in the dirt. Wait, Mickey? I think that'll a, do. A tire wire? Oh, just a minute, just a minute. This is my witch, McCollett. What do you give me for it? Uh, just before you click anything, that tire looks strangely familiar, Mickey. Yeah. Well, let's not worry about it now. We need to get it. No, so I just recognised that we used it back in the 30s. Must have been there since we were at the time. Yeah. Alright. Uh, Let me think this through. Don't strain your brain, Geekzilla. What? Okay. For what I, for what I heard, you could give this to her. Then she'll give us yeah. the tire iron. Jennifer! This is all I got. Is there anything in it? Give it here. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, what's what that? Uh, smells like armpits and booze. Irving Kid Tannen, the gangster? Where the hell did you get this? It's a long story. Can I just have the tire iron now? Heads up. Thanks. Right. Oh, great. Now what? Oh. Yeah, that oh. happened. Well, like it's Yeah. Yeah. There's notebook still around. A golf cart? Wait, what? Well, your dorkness, my it's a golf cart, look! As for you, w good luck with the car. Way to stick it to Big Brother. I don't know. Just don't expect your sudden cry for attention to change anything between us, dig? Doesn't change what? Look, Jennifer, I think there are some things we need to talk about. Hey, maybe you can give me a lift into town. Oh, sure, Martin. Climb on in. Oh, thank you. Hey, Jennifer, oh, hey. I told you we're through, McFly. I'll never date such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? Oh, what is Jesus, going it's on? Getting worse. You have oh, just that? jinxed it, Marty! You had to jinx it. Well, there goes our ticket to change the past. Yeah. Well? Doc, I could really use your help right about now. Oh, stuck up, billboard. Yeah, you don't have to tell us twice. Right, now that we got down. Do we have an inspector of the DeLorean? Yeah. Just inspect it. Dead. May 15th, 1986. Yeah, the, the date's right, but. That's not God. good. Well. There goes our ticket to fix the past. Yeah, you've already said that. Well, now that we got down, now that we got down, let's let's just let's just get in, shall we? 
Uh, check, check. Sibilance, sibilance. Who is this? Stop messing with the intercom. Oh, hi. Hi. Can you buzz me in? Visitors must check in at the north gate. Oh. No. No. North gate. I'm not walking clear around Hill Valley. There's got to be another way. You stop. No. Uh. Well, let's go and see. Let's have a look at the DeLorean. Can we just maybe go around the other side? There's a w well, at least one of the hover wheels work. Only one thing to do. Um, I don't think it's a good idea, Mickey. Because oh, I thought you were getting that. Okay, good. This could be useful. Now think, Marty, think. Uh, how, do you, how can we power it? Well, now that it's off the car, it looks like the power cables for the hover system have disconnected. Maybe... I think there's a battery on the car, I think. Okay, I take your point. Good. Yeah. Man, this is the second time I've completely destroyed Doc's time machine. I just oh, shouldn't yeah. be allowed to drive it anymore. Yeah. From the movie. Spoilers to those who haven't seen the third movie. Yeah. Right. Let's go around the other side of the DeLorean. Actually, well... No, no, you're going the wrong way, Mickey. No, no, no. Mickey! Yeah, go that way. Just keep going that way. Go on. What's that there? I just saw something on the DeLorean. Mr. Fusion. Oh. I don't really feel qualified to repair a nuclear reactor. Maybe it's still mm, under warranty. Yeah. Well, I guess technically it's way under warranty. There's a the battery there, look. There's a black there's a battery. No, not that. Oh there. yeah. This could be useful. Twelve volts. Wait, this is the car battery? I must have been installed in 2015 with the Mr. Fusion. Still has plenty of juice. We already got through 2015. Yes, and it's not like in the Baxter Beauty Universe. So, are you thinking what I'm thinking, Mickey? Well, unless you could count the 30th anniversary video. Well, Mickey, are you thinking what I'm thinking with that battery being found? Indeed I am. <laughs> Let's Let's see. Get out of the wall. Red to positive, black to negative. Whoa. Oh, we're grab hold of it! There we go, we're over! We're in! And off it goes. Far out. Oh, there we and go. What... Now we've got to wait okay, for it to Doc, run out of juice and it crap. Alternate timeline have landed in this time. Alright, let's see what Hill Valley looks like now in this timeline. Okay, Marty. Nothing to be afraid of. It's just an alternate hill valley that's turned my girlfriend into a punk rock vandal. That doesn't mean it's full of post-apocalyptic biker gangs run by armies of Biff clones. Just take a deep breath and remember, we gotta find Doc. Golf cart everywhere. Yeah. Why the golf carts? I don't know. Unity. The people seem to be wearing the same clothing. Yeah. Something of discipline. I know we all wanted the world. We wanted it's the so, world. So, so clean. Good morning, citizen. Good morning to you too, citizen. 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 Okay. I know we all wanted the world to be perfect, but 
I don't think this is how we wanted it to be. Wait, wait, who's that walking behind us? I thought I saw someone. Isn't that? Wait. What's going on here, Doc? Him, behind us, look. I see him. Who the hell is that? It looks like... Danny. It can't be. Jeez, my hill valley never looked this good. Well, look too good. Uh, watch where you're oh. going, citizen. Sorry. My, uh, Mr. Parker. That's Officer Parker to you, Martin. Now what's with the outfit? I, uh... Look. It's Thursday. Yeah. Polo shirt Thursday. You're out of uniform. Polo That's a shirt. violation of Civic okay. Ordinance 9 Triple E. And you're not wearing an ID in direct violation of Ordinance WB714. What are you up to, citizen? Polo shirt. Are you on the pot, citizen? Put your arms up. Spread your legs. Hey, what are you doing? Quiet. Hold still. Hmm. Nothing. What's your deal today, McFly? Uh, this nothing. Your call. Nothing. Sis, what can we ask? Sis, when did you become a cop? That was like, that was like, back in 1931, was it? Yeah. Since when are you a cop? I thought you were a shoe salesman. Are you oh, he's just a dagger. I've always been a cop, just like my yeah. pa. Great. I've turned my girlfriend's right. dad into a cop. Danny Parker. He's the son of Danny Parker! Wait... The son of... Danny Parker! From 1931! 1930s, whatever! 1931? You mean? Yeah, no, yeah, 1931. That's Danny's son! Oh, yeah! I'm not... I'm not thought he was a shoe salesman. What? Jeez, what the hell is going on? What's with the pat down, man? Yeah, what is hey, with what's that? What's with the pat down? What do you think? I'm packing heat? Heat? Contraband? Contraband? You know. Booze, smokes, bubblegum, dogs, circus bubble gum peanuts? Is illegal? Come Wait. on, McFly. Bubblegum, circus to know peanuts? That ignorance of the Civic what? Ordinance 2XM isn't an excuse. Come on, we. Ch people chew gobs! I mean. Take a look at take a look at Wiggly's extra for example. That's that's for like, that's a gum for to clean your teeth. I mean, Some of them. Maybe because because people are listening on both it's getting stuck in people's food. Yeah. And making a mess, maybe. I know. Do we leave? Do we leave him? Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought she broke up with you. Yeah, Broke uh, up. I need to talk what? to her about that. Good luck finding her. I usually don't see her unless she's racking up demerits for her art. But first, do you know where I can find, uh... Uh, can you tell me where I can find Doc, uh, Citizen Brown? Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? At work? That's right. Working at the courthouse. What? The courthouse? It looks very different. Heavy. Yeah. Okay, that's enough of that, so let's just leave. I've got to finish my beat. Are you going to make trouble for me today? No. No what? No, sir. That's right, citizen. I really don't like this hill for these. Wait. You're to the beat. Just a bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. For recycling bin? Are you taking a joke? I thought they were like, well, I know with this we got the paper, three. plastic, metal, all the, the there's uh, an there's a information wood. thing there. Click on that. Okay. Self tour. Self oh wait, citizen, are you about to throw something away? Make sure no. you use the correct receptacle. Hill Valley takes pride in its diverse waste management system. Why two of them are blue? What is the That's aluminum content of that tricky. can? Make sure it goes into the correct blue receptacle. Is that green, clear, or amber glass? 
it makes a difference. You Remember are joking. That all consumable wrapping is tagged with a microchip to help us automatically police litter. Okay, this is weird. Too weird. There's a statue I saw. Yeah. This very same statue. There's another. There's a. There's a self tall bit there. Another one. How yeah, many of those was... are there? I don't know. Just find out. First citizen Brown, the mind head of Hill Valley, a man of infinite wisdom and awe-inspiring imagination. Emmett Lathrop Brown had been raised by a family legacy steeped in law, but hadn't set his sights on his destiny until he single-handedly thwarted the nefarious gangster Irving Kid Tannen and his boot. No, he didn't. No. After this, we we did not. We did not. We arrested him with help of Doc. Lawn. First citizen Brown devoted his life to civil and social engineering. Using Hill Valley as a prototype for tomorrow's dog statues. Today. What? I saw dog statues on top of the town of the courthouse. Yeah. They look a bit. Do they look? Do those dog statues look familiar to you? Yeah, they do, but I'm not sure. Hmm. There may be a self tour at the um, at the um, at the uh, courthouse. Can we have a look? Oh well, if we must, we must. Not like I want to anyway. That Don't piece, me, that I... just... Oh, there it is. There's a self door there. You are standing in front of the Hill Valley Courthouse. The original courthouse was built in 1885. Just 20 years after Hill Valley's incorporation into the state of California. We've been to, well, the, yeah, 1885. The seat well, yeah. of the local yeah. government. Yeah. It also has been Some used as a that. shelter during the yeah. recovery period following the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. Most of Hill Valley's community is a result of displaced San Franciscans planting roots after that dreadful disaster. In 1976, the downtown renovation project saw the first major additions made to the courthouse since its original construction. The courthouse was expanded with an additional 128 offices in the what? wings and a new mayoral office added to the original clock tower space. Look closely. A mayor's office in the clock tower. The original courthouse's details preserved uh. in the new international inspired facade. Uh. Okay. And also, that boy from the South Tour. That sounds familiar. Yeah. Can't be, can it? I hope not. Well, but well, maybe we, there's a buzzer there. Let's see if we can get both then. Yeah. Hill Valley Courthouse. How may I help you, citizen? I need to see Doc or uh, Citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no, but oh, then wait, I'm afraid you do. you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown's a very busy man. Oh, oh. sounds familiar. Yeah. That's what Oliver said. Wait, is that a golf limousine? A golf car limousine? Was this when, this when they built those? Wait a minute. Is that... Biff? Biff? There's Doc! Doc? Doc? Doc, wait! I need to talk to... You. Oh. Shall we go and see Beth? Yeah, I mean... I... It's not like we got the choice. But oh well. No. Oh, that voice... It's still bugging my mind. It can't be who I think it is, but I don't know. I hope not. Beth? Hey. You're you're George and Lorraine's youngest, Martin, right? 
What? You don't know me? What? Only by reputation. Brown Cadet of the Month, three months running? Impressive. Are you interested in the Citizen Plus program? Uh, Citizen Plus program? What? What is this Citizen Plus? It's Citizen Brown's new re-education program. And I'm the first of Hill Valley Citizen Plus. Uh, pluses. Plus I? A re-education program? What the hell? Please don't swear, Martin. It makes me uncomfortable. What? What? Hell's not a swear word, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it's not really nice, but it's not. Isn't it, Oliver? I don't know. Anyway, what about the clothes? Uh... Yeah. What's, what's with the same clothing that everyone's wearing? Nice clothes. You lose a bed or something? What do you mean? I'm wearing what everyone's wearing. It's Polo Shirt Thursday. You, my friend, are out of uniform. So I've heard. Yeah, well, there's always tomorrow. Hawaiian Shirt Friday. Hawaiian? Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I would love that day, but sadly not in this universe. Oh, yeah. If it happened in... If it happened in another universe without this, I would totally do that, would you, Mickey? I... I definitely would. <laughs> yeah, but not in this universe. Yeah. To totally not here. Yeah. Anyway, what was the car listen, then? Biff, that car I saw you get out of, was that Doc Brown in there with you? Ha! Ah, Doc! That should be his new nickname! But, yeah, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational guy. How'd you get FaceTime with him? He seems so busy. You got that right, Martin. Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy. But fortunately, uh, unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad apple. A real butthead. Is it you, Mrs. Pastel? Yes, it's you, Biff. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> anyway, you a butthead? No. What can I say, Martin? I was always getting into trouble. Too much trouble, what with the booze, the partying, the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. Pack, get it? Uh, yeah. What does this have no. to do with Citizen no. Brown? Well, after getting in so much trouble, the authorities, they took me in to see Citizen Brown and gave me an ultimatum. Citizen Plus or Bust. No more beef. So, yeah. No more beef that we used to know. So you won't break any rules anymore? Kid, the Citizen Plus treatment makes it physically impossible for me to break rules. How so? Now I get physically ill if I try to break a rule. Oh. Physically? Uh, okay. What about the... What, what about the past? Maybe we can get some information? Yeah. So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin, I really don't like dredging up the past. But, alright, if it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. Maybe. Yeah. So what about the legal something? What about what the legal? What kind of trouble did you get into with women? They weren't hookers? No, no, nothing like that. It's just that I wasn't always discreet about my affections. What? Eh? Public displays of affection, Martin. You know, necking and such. That's illegal? Oh, Wait, yeah. What? Necking. Uh, I'm not gonna go into details. Yeah, what about dogs? Yeah. Why'd your dogs get you in trouble? You weren't running dog fights, were you? No, nothing that bad. I just used to have a lot of dogs. What's wrong with that? Nothing, other yeah. than them keeping the neighbors up all night, lunging at old people, and eating all the squirrels in the park. In fact, I'm ashamed to say it was my out-of-control dogs that were directly responsible for the banning of dogs throughout Hill Valley. Probably you don't sound dog. very ashamed. What? Oh, I am. Completely. Very, very ashamed. That's not right. I've got dogs at my house. So, so I don't want those to be... Oh. <sighs> you this said something well about booze? Beer, rum, whiskey, wine coolers, you name it, I drank it. Not only did I drink it, I smuggled it into Hill Valley too. 
Chip off, Chip off the old, the old block. block. Used to be I knocked your block off for a comment like that. But yeah, I guess I was following in Pop's crummy footsteps. Well, where is he? So, Mickey, yeah. these, so there's no dog, no kissing in public, no booze. I think I've got an idea. Yeah? What if we break them through? Oh, yeah! That may be our chance to get in with Citizen Brown or Doc. Now, that's a good idea. Yeah, but this is only temporarily. We're not. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we're not gonna. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mickey, Mickey. Uh, sorry, sorry. This is only sorry. temporary breaking the rules. Yeah, only temporarily. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I really must stop now. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, we. I don't know. Uh, let's let's change the subject. Thanks. I don't like talking about my old nasty self. Yeah, I say we've heard it. So yeah, let's go. Bye, Martin. Hey, yep. Jennifer. Jennifer. It waved someone in that window. It's Jen, up to now. Who was she waving to? I don't know. Hang on, whoa, go back. There's, an, there's another stealth tall there. Near the gate. Look around yourself. Breathe in the fresh air. Enjoy the immaculate scenery and architecture. You are standing among the denizens of the most sociologically advanced city in the world. Hill Valley, a perfect place to live. Let's take a moment to look up at the city's centerpiece, the courthouse, with its ornate clock tower. Look closely. Do you see a silhouette behind the clock? That's our beloved first citizen, Emmett L. Brown, toiling away on new ideas to make Hill Valley like the a city of tomorrow to today. Wait. You're telling me Doc's office is in the clock tower? Actually, in the face, in the face of the clock tower. Wait. Ah. Uh. Did you listen to the clue, Mickey? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> they said there's a office. There's an office right in the middle of the clock. In the middle the of the face, clock. The clock face, and we heard about Susan Brown. That's so, Doc's office! That's his office? Yes, right flat bang in the middle of the clock face. We gotta that get would it. be cool. We gotta get in there. Yeah, it, it'll be cool though. But first, let's, let's get something What's to that? work. There's something in there. Someone, you mean? Yeah, I can't tell who it is. Well, we get something to, to read while we're at it. Hey, can't you read? Oh, it's you, McFly. Leech? Hey, hey Leech? Uh, my bad. Leech? I should have wrote the sign in Latin, just so you'd understand. What sign? Outway to Unchley. Now eat it, Bay, and let me catch some Z's. Oh, we can't do that again. Aww. Right, should we go around the back? Yeah. Graffiti. What's that, Dave? Jennifer! Jen! You got a problem? You left me stranded! Yeah! Left us stranded. You left us stranded! What's the deal, Jennifer? He left me stranded outside the city gates. Yeah, that was pretty rotten, wasn't it? I'm such a horrible role model. Better get away before I corrupt you. Yeah. 
Look, I don't know what you got against me in this timeline, uh, lately, but I'm here to make things right. I've missed you, you know? Take a look at me, Martin. Do I look like the kind of girl that would hang around the president of the Junior Brown Brigade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I gotta admit, I kinda like you like this. Oh, uh, Barf? Oi. Hey. Well, so what, Come on. what was he painting then? Yeah. Well, you're Leeching the whoosh bags. I've never heard of them. No, you wouldn't have. They don't play much punk on those smooth jazz stations you listen to. Smooth jazz? I couldn't possibly be that square, even in an alternate timeline. Yeah. But come on. You act like I'm a turnoff, but I don't buy it. We were meant to be together. Yeah. Look, just because mm. I let you tag along to a couple of concerts doesn't mean we're Romeo and Juliet. I mean, sure, you're a little cute, but you're into all this honor student crap. Honor student? And I'm into more interesting things. And guys. Can we just leave? Well, this is a good ball of some of the spray paint. Give me a can of spray paint. I got an urge to paint something. Happy little trees. Get yourself a watercolor kit. I'm not sharing my wall. Well, there's well white over there, so... Your yeah. paint's starting to streak. Ah! I mean... There's one white there, you know. Yeah, but we can't get to it. Well, yeah. Go out, let's go back. Yeah. Wait. Wait, who's Look that? Look out, son! Whoa. Wait, isn't that... Mom? Body's mother? Right, sorry Mickey, you have to continue by your own, I'm afraid. I'll be back very soon. I'm gonna go, I'll oh. be back soon. Oh, wait. Oh. Yeah, no jump cuts, I'm gonna be back very soon. Oh, so okay. I'll be back. You continue this, Mickey. I'll be back. Okay, Oliver. Well. Looks like I'm all alone. All alone. But nevertheless, guys. Let's just... Mom? Mom! But are you happy? Happiness is overrated, Lorraine. I'm content. Well, I'll think about it. Mom? Hi there, Martin. I saw you as I was driving in. Did you hear me honking? Mom, that can't be you. Martin, are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. It's just that yeah. you're so, so gray. Well, isn't that an uplifting way to greet your mother? Sorry, I just don't... I guess you're right, though. I am going a little gray. No thanks to your father. Wait, what? So, what? Are you out here shopping or something? Yeah. Oh, shopping? <laughs> Who shops anymore? No, it's that what? time of the month for me again. Uh... For my civic no, duty. No I'll shopping? be polishing the statue all day. Oh, right. So... You don't shop anymore in this timeline? What about online shopping? What's gonna be wrong with that? Oh... God, I hate this timeline. <laughs> uh, but what what's with the golf cart, Mom? Now, Martin, I know you're embarrassed to be driving around in last year's model, but we really can't afford the '86s yet. Uh, what about my truck? <laughs> no one owns a truck in Hill Valley, Martin. Are you sure you're feeling what? okay? Yeah, yeah. I just I must have had a really vivid dream last night. Well, I hope your dream world was more fun than this one. Could you do if, me a favor? If they I were. forgot to give your father my timesheet for last week, and now Mr. Nosy is convinced that I'm hiding something from him. Timesheet? Aren't what? they annoying? But Citizen Brown always says, a scheduled life is a happy life. Anywho, could you be a dear and drop it off at the house? Here, take the car. Actually, I... I know, uh, I know, dear. Love you, too. I'd give you a kiss, but you know what that gets you. Don't forget to pick me up this evening. Uh, yeah, sure. Attention, 
So yeah, there's no kissing in public in this already, but that's me. But that, but that also me. You don't, you don't get a kiss from a parent or family member anymore. This timeline is so messed up. <laughs> uh, well, oh well. At least I can get to drive a golf cart now. Well, it's not the truck, but I guess it'll do. Yeah, I'm afraid you're right. <sighs> Alright, so we're... So we're back at the house. I don't know, John. Isn't this illegal? What isn't illegal in Hill Valley? What if there's a ground watching? Don't worry, nobody can see us here. He's a peeping Tom. Ah, Dad, try to warn your old man the next time, okay? Hey, Demary. Whoa, hey, sorry. Okay. Good day, citizen. Wait, why is it taped up? the hell? Don't violate the perimeter, son! The uh, perimeter? What? A perfect place to live. Okay, what okay, is going on here? Was it citizen? Irony. What's that, officer? Move <sighs> on. Oh, I... Um, I saw Mom downtown. She told me to give this to you. Thanks. Say, uh, what gives around here? Yeah. Ah, you know, the usual. Keeping tabs on Hill Valley through my trusty bank of monitors. Always on the lookout for some interesting footage. Yeah. What are you looking at exactly? Interesting. What do you mean interesting? What kind of silly question is that? <laughs> I've been gathering candid documentary footage for Citizen Brown's promotional videos for over a year now. I know over your mother year? doesn't approve of my work, but wait a minute. You say you saw Lorraine? 11 to 12 yeah. hair salon, 12 to 12 20 lunch at Soupmo counter, cream of asparagus with crackers. What was that? You know what? your mother's problems. If she slips up again, it could mean demerits for the whole family. There she is, polishing the statue in the park. Just like the schedule dictates. Oh, then everything's fine. Good. Unless... How was she when you spoke to her? Lucid? Sober? What? You are way off here. Mom isn't a... Shh. I don't know for sure that your mother has relapsed into her old ways, but she's been acting very odd lately, almost as if she didn't like my constant supervision. Confidentially, I suspect she's got a flask hidden somewhere, probably very near the spot where she's working right now. Do me a favor, son, will you? See if you can worm the truth out of her. She won't confide in me, but she may be less guarded with you. Double rations this week if you help your old man out. What do you say? That's a good boy. Okay, Dad, we need to talk. Yeah. What were you hiding when I came in just now? Hiding? I don't know what you're talking about, son. Come on, I saw it. It was a videotape, right? Um... I might as well tell you. After all, you'll be 18 soon. Tell me what? Hill Valley under Citizen Brown is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. Yeah. No You're kidding. Yeah. This isn't a criticism of the great man himself, of oh. course, or his sainted wife, Edna. No one's worked harder than them Edna? to apply the most advanced social planning techniques to our municipality. Married to but it. what? Dogs married to Edna? Not everybody appreciates it. A great many citizens, perhaps even the majority, actively resent the Brown administration. They don't say so publicly, of course. But in private? Well, just listen. I tell you, Bert, this regime is a joke. They're all laughing at us over in Fairfax. A toast to Citizen Brown. May his beloved courthouse be 
struck by lightning. <laughs> You're awful. Are you coming to the town square, Lester? Yeah, I did. Give another speech. Mr. Brown can kiss my herring. Well, you get the idea. It sounds like people can't stand what the Browns have done to Hill Valley. Not everyone. Only around 50%, maybe 60. Does Citizen Brown know? He should. Whenever I send copies of my raw footage to the public relations department over at the courthouse, I get a memo telling me how much Citizen Brown thanks me for my service. But how could he see those videos and not do anything about it? Maybe you should take your tapes directly to Brown. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, sure, he might appreciate my bringing these problems to his attention and reward me for my public service, but then again, they say it's never wise to be the bearer of bad news. So... How exactly do does this setup work? I'm glad to see you taking an interest. Each of these monitors is connected to multiple cameras, of which I've strategically jacked into throughout the valley, with official clearance, of course. I can switch between cameras with these buttons. There's also a VCR for each monitor. Switch I keep a record of everything I see. So, if I happen across something intriguing, I can keep it on file. Okay. Okay. So what about it, you and you? your, uh, work? Shoot. Yeah. Uh, just to get you everything. seem to be really into this spying business. It's not spying, son. It's cinema verite. These candid moments cinema of Hill Valley's verite. residents will eventually be compiled and edited into the documentaries and promotional material I'm back. that advertise our oh, way of life to the rest of the world. Yeah. Right. True. You can yeah, also see that I've taken things to extremes, to but I still get up to take my meals and, of yeah. course, to use the facilities. I've met Marty's mom. Yeah. Well, I was having pizza and it's quite too hot. I nearly burned my tongue a couple of times. It's so hot, I left it to cool down. Alright. So, I may be off again. Just to warn you, Mickey. Alright. Right, right so... we uh, like, 47 minutes. Right, okay. But... Well, anyway, George, you're supposed to be a sci-fi writer. A sci-fi writer? Yeah! You're supposed to be... I mean, wouldn't you rather spend your time writing, say, science fiction novels? Science fiction. I did mess around with it once, but that was before Citizen Brown made it illegal. Science fiction what? illegal? Sci-fi promotes an unhealthy obsession with the fantastic and impossible, and it encourages the idea that there might be better societies than Hill Valley, which is subversive Science nonsense. Fiction. Of course. Oh, for God's oh, sake! No, now science is illegal Wait. as well. Wait, 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 wait. If this timeline universe exists in the UK... Oh god, Do don't let me imagine! Doctor Who won't be existed in that time! Oh god, you're right! Not... Oh no! Oh god, no! Neither of Five Nights at Freddy's, that's sci-fi fiction, isn't it? Could be! Thunderbirds Day on the Stern! Oh no, that would be disastrous! And the and the rest of the TV shows that we all that we all know. What about Hobbit? The Railway Theory. Oh yeah. Books about the first published before TV. <laughs> nah. They won't exist, I think, because they're sci-fi. Not sci-fi, they're not sci-fi. Well, not really, but Yeah, no, I know, I know, I know. They may, may still exist, but I don't know. But please don't mention, don't mention sci-fi when it comes to Thomas because of... Ugh. You know no, it just occurred to me. It just occurred to me. The sci-fi... Do you want to do different subject? Yeah, let's just change the subject, shall okay. we? Different subject. Yeah. Yeah, so... About... It's about Mom. Yeah. So she's thinking about signing up for the Citizen Plus program. Yeah, she I saw her with Biff. You're not gonna let her go through with it, are you? 
Well, from what I hear, it's a fairly drastic procedure which completely reshapes the subject's personality. On the other hand, if Citizen Brown recommends it, it's gotta be a good thing. Yeah, maybe, but not entirely, but... Uh, but how? She gonna be such a mess. This isn't how she is in my... in my perfect world. You're right, it's a real puzzle. Because of course we both know Hill Valley is a perfect world. But for some peculiar reason, the harder I try to get her to conform to the rules, the more she slips up. Well, can't you just back off or something? I think Mom would be a little more relaxed if you gave her just a little bit of space. Now, there's a fine suggestion. What would Hill Valley be like if people gave each other space? One, we'd all be tempted to follow our own impulses, and there's no telling where that might lead. Well, they think stuff, Jack. Yeah. Well, hmm. Something on your mind? Well, well, but there's something about a tape at the top thing, Mickey. Uh, yeah. Well, you keep going up. You've got. You've gone down to the very bottom. There it is at the top. You just gone past it again. Keep going up. Top there. Why don't you give me those videotapes? Yeah. I'll take them to Citizen Brown. Thanks for offering, son, but I don't want to get you involved. Citizen Brown won't like what he sees on them, and I wouldn't want you to get the brunt of his displeasure. Not to mention the displeasure of all the folks on the tapes. Once they find out I recorded them... No, I'm not letting these tapes out of my sight. It's too dangerous. Jeez. Yeah, what's yeah, the, the, the deal with the house, Dad? Yeah. I don't know how to tell you this, son, but while you were away at your math and magic competition, our house got slapped with a CZ-36 violation. What? I know, it's so what? embarrassing. Your mother's mortified. She works so hard to keep a clean house, but those dust mites are so hard to keep down. Wait a minute, we can't Wait, go into the yeah? house because of dust mites? Well, not until they send in the cleanup dust crew. Mites? This is ridiculous. Thank goodness they let me move my office out here into the garage. Dust mites? Are they like some sort of... I don't know. So, uh, when is this dust my problem gonna be solved so I can get to all my stuff? Well, the cleanup crew said they'd probably get around to it by tonight, but they're kind of backed tonight? up, so I wouldn't expect them until tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? But where am I supposed to sleep? I got it all covered, son. We're gonna camp out back just like we did when you were little. Okay. This timeline is officially a nightmare. An absolute... Um, well, that exit, Mickey. Well, I'll leave you to your snooping. Supervising, son. Supervising. I'll leave you to it. Whatever. Right. Good morning, Mrs. There's Mar There's a guitar. Me oh, yeah, that's Marty's guitar. Brown. Hey, what's my guitar doing out here? Your mother and I convinced you to give it up, remember? Rock and roll music is frowned on by the Brown administration. It sets a poor example for all the kids who look up to you as a model of studiousness and moral gravity. And besides, you're not very good. What? What? Give us the guitar. Yeah, give- Come on, Dad. I need that guitar. Give me one good reason why I should give it back to you. Because... Jennifer? A certain girl is only gonna like me if I can play the guitar. A certain girl? You don't mean... Jennifer. Oh, Martin. Why are you fixated on that little hellion? She's nothing but trouble. Yeah. My kind of trouble. And besides, the way you play guitar, you're only gonna drive her further Oh. Go ahead, son. Do your worst. Thanks, mm -hmm. Dad. Uh, okay. Right then, yeah, shall we, um... Well, we've been calling for the, like, 54 minutes. Shall we continue on, mm. or...? Yeah, we continue think? on. Yeah. Uh, okay... Shall we go back to Jennifer? Yeah, I'd say we should. Besides... Oh, I know the little... I got myself... Well, a, I got myself this little gold cart. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. How much miles is it? How much, um, what's the speed of that? Either 15 or something, or...? I don't know. 
Well, I know they use them for golf course, but I just don't know much about them. Anyway, right, should we go back to Jennifer? She's behind the... Uh, no, you're going the wrong way. She's going, yeah, she's going that... Yeah, go that way. Alrighty, alrighty. Wait. No. Well, I can't see a thing. You mean seriously, me? Is, is I that, can't even. Are they who I? Are they who I think they are? Because I can I can't see through there. I can't. Hang that on. That is not. No. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Welcome to Soupmo, where soup is just. Oh, it's you. This better be important, McFly. Leech. Uh, was that Jennifer? Well, a. It's none ah. of your business, and B, seeing as she ain't your chick no more, yeah. Okay, oh. now this timeline what? is really pissing me off. Ooh. You're telling me? Oh, there's something about free sam samples. You and Jennifer? Really? Really? Oh, is the poor little nerd jealous? Well, yeah, mm. a little disgusted. That's probably the soup. Yeah, well, you better treat thing. Jen with respect, Leech. Hey, yeah. I got nothing but respect for Jennifer. Respect for her eyes, for her hips, the way she wriggles when she... Hey! Now, that dork that let her get away, there's a loser that I got no respect for. <sighs> okay, this is just messed up now. Yeah. Where are the free samples? So here, I keep them behind the counter. Where are they? Sausages, I think. Oh God! If you puke, you're cleaning it up, wuss. I I can't finish this. Not my problem. What are these exactly? I what are those sausages. things? Those are the liver and peas with soy cheese hot dogs. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Brown noser. Oh god, that made me ill. Yeah. I wouldn't eat those. Me neither. Why are the samples behind the counter? I can't leave them out, dude. There's a DOG running around town, and he dog? keeps going after the sample tray, knocking them all over the ground. A dog? Wait, these samples haven't been on the ground, have they? Jeez, McFly, relax. They're fresh, mostly. Here we go. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Smell you later. Hey. Right. GG. Wait. Is that uh, hey. Einstein? 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 There's that mangy. <laughs> go get him, McFly. Let's get after him. <gasps> so we can break the dog rule. Ah uh, yes. After it. After him. There he is. Hey, not break hat. Yeah, we could use it for something. Yeah. Well, I think you can use it. I think for, for, for that flag. Oh, yeah. It would look better blue. Yeah, much better. Right. So we're going to find Einstein now. Yeah. Well, we better be careful because that paint's wet. He's got to be hiding in here somewhere. So he's, he's in here where? somewhere. There's a table, a fridge door, and a pallet. Eat where would you look? Oh. This is the place the dog can... Stay oh. put now, boy. No. Wherever no. you are. There he is! Little cheek! Little cheek! Oh, I... Alright, where are you? There he is! He's right behind you! He missed him. Oh, God. That might have... The paint, the paint. <gasps> yes. Go yes. back, go back, Mark. You're quit. going the wrong way. Marty! Yeah. That wasn't me! That was not entirely me. Honest to God. Yeah, that must have done it. Right, let's go and see. Paw prints. The paint is still wet. Now we're in business. 
Yes. Hey. He's down on the table. I outsmarted you, didn't I? Ah, oh, don't be like that, Einie. Hmm. Maybe they're stopping. Maybe that's stopping. Oh yeah. You know what he's doing? Look, Einie, I've got a treat for you. Yeah. Atta boy. Now hold still. See, I'm not such a bad guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay. I guess I've won you over. Well, we found sure Einstein. Yep. Yeah. But we need to find Doc. Yep. Huh? Well, what is it, boy? Uh, wait. Edna? Einstein, wait. Wait, what? No. That looks like Edna! Oh, yeah! Rabies, rabies, help! Back! Down! Sit! Play dead! Officer Parker, subdue that beast at once! Einstein, sit! Einstein? Oh, if he bites me, you'll be I've been called again, I'll be back citizen. soon, guys, I'll be back very soon. Oh, okay. Wait, Ed, 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 it's got to be Edna. It's Edna, I've got to go. Parker, that's the stray that keeps yeah. escaping the kennel. I thought he was muzzled. I muzzled. took the muzzle off. You what? That's yeah. right, he's my dog now. Citizen, you are in violation of statute 357K. Parker, demerit this hooligan at once. I'll return this creature to the kennel. What? Yes, ma'am. No! The wretched be sorry, Aini. Once I fix all this, you'll be back with Doc and romping through time. I'll stay out of trouble. Yeah. Unless you want a visit from Citizen Brown. Oh, jeez. No. <sighs> well, nice small wolf woke. I guess two to go. Mom? So, um, so what's, so what's yeah, up with that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, indeed. What is up with him? That setup in his garage is pretty intense. That's not the word I'd use. More like creepy. I heard that. Uh, okay, uh, what, what about, about you? you, Mom? What about me? Yeah. The... I saw you talking to Biff about the Citizen Plus program. Yeah. Biff says I'd be a perfect candidate for it. I know Biff, and if that's what the Citizen Plus program does to people, then you don't want any part of it. But Biff has been reformed. Look at him. He seems so happy now. So at peace with this town. What I wouldn't give. He's a total veg, Mom. Your father is always telling me that I don't invest enough in the workings of our great Citizen Brown. Maybe it's time for me to turn a new leaf and just go with the flow. Okay, just All hold right. off for a bit, please. I don't want you doing anything rash. Okay. We've been recording for like one minute and three... One hour, three minutes now. So... What are you doing out here polishing the statue? Yeah. I know! I was scheduled to clean the clock this month, but then Needle's mom ate some of that bad tofu that's been going around. So there was some reshuffling in the L Sector duty roster, and here I am. Uh... I kinda wish I was cleaning the clock, though. So much nicer up there without all the cameras. The cameras? Wave to Big Brother! Or Big Husband, in this case. Okay. Alright, alright, let's talk about something else. Alrighty, dear. So, what's with the flask? Uh, Mom, are you a uh, drinking again? So Don't be silly, dear. Booze is illegal, you know. Yeah, Mom, it's just that uh, Dad mentioned... Your father. Why, I just can't get away from his prying eyes. Always spying, always watching. You, you mind your own business, George. Now, Lorraine, this is for your own good. I know you're keeping a secret from me. It's mine to keep. Dad! Mom! Knock it off, you two! Now, you listen here, young man. This is an adult matter between your mother and me. Dad, I know, but your way isn't working. You gotta give her some space here. Yeah. Huh? Where'd she go? Mom? Wait. 
Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it. Wait, what? What is that in your hand? Rum? What is she? What is she, she holding? Door? For your information, it's brass cleaner. I have a job to do here, you know. Lorraine? No. Lorraine, I'm just trying to look out for you. You know the kind of trouble we can get into if you're drinking again. George, I wouldn't be so on edge if you weren't suffocating me all the time. Was that an admission? An admission of how smothered I am by you? Jeez. This is the light. I think there's a statue. Like, just do this. Yes. Alright. What is that? Aha! Mom, now the dad isn't watching. Oh, Martin. Uh <clears throat> Was that a flask, Mom? Flask? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I I Look, it's okay, Mom. Get a hold of yourself. Yeah. Oh, Come your on, father's Ray. right. I'm backsliding. But it's been so hard, what with your brother and sister leaving, and then your father getting obsessed with his monitors, and... Oh. <laughs> Let me take care of the flask. Dad doesn't have to know anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we will. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. I couldn't bear the thought of facing your father over this. Alright. This timeline sucks. Mom and Dad are fighting again. Mom's drinking. It's like everything Doc and I ever did to fix things is falling apart. Time to get some attention. Yeah. It is time. And I know just the key to do so. Hands up, citizen. Assume the position. Here goes nothing. There better be apple juice in this. Uh, why don't you open it and find out? Yes. Don't get smart with me. I'm back. What's happening now? Yeah, I knew you I just were got, no good, McFly. I just got Officer bumped. Parker. I just got Buddy's mom's flask. Seems to be the problem here. Yeah. Citizen McFly, ma'am. I swear that he's Edna. Eighty-one B violation in his pocket. It's got to be Edna. You, young citizen, where did you get that, that booze? Nowhere. Is he being uh, smart with me? Yeah. Gotta be Edna. Played that attitude on me as well. Yeah. Can we just fast forward yeah. the lecture and just get this over with already? No! Officer, demerit him. Severely. And as for the alcohol, drop it into the decycling bin. With pleasure, man. Now, keep your nose clean, or you'll find yourself in front of Citizen Brown. Alright. So we so we're gonna do the napping now, haven't we? Yep, we've done the, the uh, dog. We've done the dog. The dog and uh, the, the mask. Now no. for the napping. Yep. Let's do that. We gotta get another back. And how long have we been? A... How long have we been recording for? Well, you've been. I've been off. One hour nine minutes. Do you wanna end it there, Mickey? Uh, or do you want to do the final breaking wall? Hmm. You know what? Why the hell not? Might yeah, as let's, well. <laughs> let's break this wall and um... Let's break this last wall and then we call it, then we call this a day for the video. Yeah.
And that will go up where? Yep. What is it now? So, what's with you and Leech? You and Leech, Jennifer? Hey, don't badmouth Leech. There's a lot more to him than soup, you know. Like what? Mm. For one thing, he wields an axe like nobody's business. Just break Leech up with him. He's a wasteoid. Come on, Jen. It's you and me. Dream on, McFly. We might have had a thing for about ten minutes, but you're not even in the same league as Leech. Yeah, about that. We saw you at the. I saw. I looked for the window and saw you. Uh, you know what? So do you spend most of your time vandalizing public property? Oh, wait, Don't uh, even think about snitching on me, unless you want this spray can up your. No, no. Listen, you got me hey, wrong. Hey. I'm looking to uh, break a few rules myself. You? Yeah. This ban on public displays of affection bites. Hey, you're talking about my most favoritest legal infraction of all. Yeah? Not with you. Ew! Isn't graffiti a major infraction? You'd think. But after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer junk a couple years ago, graffiti's what? been knocked down to a two demerit offense. Go fake. No. Uh, on second thought, maybe I don't want to know any more about breaking the rules. Uh, what? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I... Well, shall we get some guitar playing? Yeah. So you got yourself a new guitar player. What can I say? I'm a girl who appreciates a hot lick. Yeah, I remember. Come on, Jennifer. Nobody in town plays guitar like me. I'm talking electric guitar, Martin. I'm going to be honest, the ukulele has to go. Oh, come on. Let's do it. Guitar battle. Your boyfriend yeah. Any day of the week. You're that desperate to get to first base. Did you say first or fourth? I know the puzzle, Mickey. I do. There's well, a first puzzle. First, you gotta prove you've got better fingers battle. than Leech. You ready yes? to throw down? I was born ready. Right. You got a guitar? Never it's, leave home without it. It's Hold something on. to do with those those pumps near that bin. Yeah. You we need to knock them down first. Hold it, what? we got company. We need to knock him we need to knock him down first. Down he says he can outplay you. Uh, I told him what? there's no one in Hill Valley better than you. You wanna go prove it? The ring of rock. <laughs> Don't crush him too bad. Just teach him a lesson. Uh try the scissor kick. Right. See? Ah! Oh! <laughs> now we need to climb. We need to climb up on that dumpster. Move towards Jennifer. Okay then. And we need to climb up that garbage bin. Yep. Climb onto the platform. <laughs> and now and we need now. to jump. No, not that one. Yeah. Hop! <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh. There we go. He's down. <laughs> hey. Bam! Take that. Martin McFly. That was, that was, that was totally awesome. What can I say? Some guys got it and <laughs> some guys don't. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, dear. You broke my head, Stock. Oh, oh boo -hoo. Come here. Oh, Wait, okay, Tom. I got a better yeah, idea. What was it you called me? A square? A girl's oh. entitled to make a mistake, isn't she? Oh, oh God. Okay. Oh. Mm. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, who's that? Oh. <laughs> yeah, Shall we open the window? Yeah. Delinquency! Officer Parker! I just caught these two degenerates violating statute number... Jennifer! Daddy! 476D! Open mouths! And tongues! You've gone too far, Jennifer! Yeah. What's the oh, big deal? Man. 
It's only hormones. Stop! We don't use words like that in this town. I'll deal with you later, young lady. We're gonna have to have a long talk about the Citizen Plus program. What? Oh, come on. Really? Officer, give Mr. McFly a 476 D's worth of demerits. I'll tend to your wayward yes, daughter. Yes, ma'am. And this is for getting my daughter in trouble with Citizen Edna. Now keep it out of trouble, or Citizen Edna. Brown will come down on you like it a is that wall. You've got to... McFly! Uh... uh what? How did she get hit? Wait, who was driving that golf cart? Hey, again? Jennifer. Are you still angry with me? Who <laughs> said that? The threat of being citizen yeah. blessed was worth it just to I see my dad's face to all people like that. I know. Great. Did I, I saw gotta go. Jeez, no Martin, what's gotten into you? Booze, dogs, yeah, so necking in public? I it's like you're a different I guy today. A way cooler guy. I know this is going to be hard to believe, but I'm the same guy I've always been. It's everyone else who's messed up. And stop calling me Martin. It's Marty. Well, Marty. What's next on the agenda? Knocking over banks? Maybe. What's a guy got to do to get in trouble around here? Uh, I think you're about to find out. Who? You, citizen. Get out uh, of here, Jen. Not a problem. Are you Martin Seamus McFly? Yes. We have a warrant for your detention. Detention? You've accrued over 15,000 demerits in the past 24 hours. Cool. Is it? Young Mr. McFly is being branded as a criminal of weak moral character. Cool. I'm not weak. But you are in a heap of trouble. Trouble? I really oh want to punch yes. you, but... Don't worry. You're not a punch a lady. You. Like your Citizen yeah. Plus program took care of Biff? Perhaps I do want the to program punch them. is in On need it, of I new really volunteers. Do, but, I can't. but let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, let's see what Citizen Brown has to say about your particular strain of anti-social behavior. To... You're taking me to Citizen Brown? Immediately. Officers, away with him. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma it's about time. Alrighty. I always knew your goody two shoes A plus student act was too good to be true. Right. Right. We're now, how we gonna end... now, how are we going to end up ending the video? Mm, that's a good question. Or maybe you can pause it. So this is Doc's office. Come in, citizen. That is him. Martin McFly, age 18, resident of Sector L, Father George, Mother Lorraine, president of the Junior Brown Brigade, recipient of a full ride scholarship to Strickland College, winner of the Courthouse Challenge to Portland Award, zero demerits until this morning. The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is. What happened to you? What happened to you? Yes, it's you. What happened to Jesus you? Christ, Doc. What happened to you? Doc. Interesting. You regard me as a doctor, indicating awareness Mickey. that you're suffering from some variety Shall we, um, of disorder. end the video and here about the office, on. then? Of course, I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal <laughs> normalization. Shall we begin with a few questions to establish a baseline? Of shall we shall we end it of here? Of course. Mickey, shall we end it? Because we've been recording for a while. More like we don't want to make it one, too uh, long. Nineteen minutes. Well, yeah. Do you, do you want to this call it? So I could set you straight. You'll set me straight. Yes. Explain. So, Mickey, do you but want to the end? The but in the meantime, guys, we're gonna end the video here. Yeah. Yeah. So until, so until next time, guys, we're gonna have to convince Citizen Brown. Now, we're gonna. Yeah. Yeah. So, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, turn the notifications on, and go subscribe to Oliver Featherwing's channel and check out his greatest content. So, yeah.
Until next time, when we can fix all of this, guys. Thanks for stopping. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.